Hey everybody, my name is Richard and I'm back with another deck profile and today we're doing my Ava deck that I recently just picked up. I have never owned a Brangade deck before until this day and this deck is crazy fun. I'm actually really glad I ended up picking this up despite how kind of expensive it was. But my excuse was that the deck comes with knights, so I think I get a pass for that. So it's technically still on brand for me to play a knight themed deck. So we're totally playing a knight deck. But yeah, I just thought I would share with you guys, you know, my list and what I've been playing with for this deck and kind of show you guys how it works if you're interested. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. All right, jumping into the ride deck, we got our Ava ride line. There's nothing any different really for this right line compared to past Ava builds. I don't think there's really any necessary reason to change it. Um, being able to search out research cards as you go through the right chain is just key to the deck. So obviously we're sticking with it. So keep that over there for now. Going into the grade threes, we run three copies of Poison Ava. So Poison and Paradise Ava lets you search out a research card from your deck, put it into your hand, and then activate Persona Ride when you place it normally. If you're using Immigrar, you won't be able, and you rode that turn already, you wouldn't be able to use the Persona Ride, but it's still fine. Searching out research cards is still good. And Poison Ava is when it attacks, you bind the Grade 3 Ava from your ride deck, and then you search your deck, hand, or drop for an Upski Died, call it. This unit and the Upski Died get 5k, and if you search the deck, you shuffle, and at the end of the turn, you ride this Ava back onto your Vanguard Circle as rest. So basically being able to search out Upski Died without having to pay a counterblast is really, really good. So Poison Ava obviously takes the cake there, and the fact that Immergar searches it makes it even better. Then we're running four copies of Upski Died. Upski Died's just a really, really good beater, and it has shield as well. So in this attacks, if your order zone has a set order, it gets 5k. If it has three or more, it gets 10k. Then if it's placed on rear by a card's ability, if your Vanguard's Ava, and you have three or more research cards, this gets a crit. Passively, this also gets intercept and 10k shield. So basically anytime you search this with Poison Ava, it's gonna get a crit. It's gonna be 23 by itself, Persona Ride 33. And since you're searching it from the deck, drop her hand, you can do multi-attack, which is nice. So uh, definitely multiple copies of this. And the fact that you can keep calling from the drop zone is nice because it's recyclable. Lastly for grade threes, we got four copies of Blue Research Lab. Blue Research Lab uh, lets you look at the top five cards of your deck call a card and then you put the rest back in your deck and shuffle. So this allows you to trigger it off your upski died so that they're called by card effects. And it also just helps you deck thin and build a board. Has an act ability as well. You can soul blast one and rest three research cards to give one of your glitter units an additional 5K, which is cool. Just to make them just a little bit bigger, you know. Well, with that, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to grade twos. For grade twos, we run two copies of the grade two upski died. This one gets 5K power and shield if you have three more set orders. And if it's placed by a card ability when it attacks, it can attack your opponent's front row instead. So this makes really for a really good early game call target, just so that you can, you know, wipe out your opponent's front row if they've been rushing you, or it's just really good against certain matchups like playing Meyer or Farga, anything that's like rear guard reliant, and they definitely want to keep their rear guards and they don't have a really good way of replenishing them. So this is really good for board wipes in a way, you can think of it that way. But other than that, it's another Upski die. It's a really good call target, um, but obviously the grade three Upski die is gonna be our main focal point, so we just run two. Then we run two copies of Combined Rusher. Combined Rusher is a really, really good card because it gets 10K power when it attacks a grade three and you have two or more set orders. And also when it's in the drop zone and you play a set order from hand, you can counter blast one to call this back. Since we don't use a lot of counter blast in this deck, we can keep repeatedly using this effect. And since we're multi-attacking, we can swing with this, search up to Q-Died, call on top of it, it goes to drop zone, sets itself back up to be called out again for the next turn. So this is a really, really good target to have early and also just, you know, good discard fodder for going into your ride deck. Lastly for grade twos, uh, one copy of Freezing Ray, Freezing Wave, sorry. This card is really good, I like it a lot. Um, I'd suggest maybe one to two copies of this. It's Soul Blast 1, choose one of your units being attacked and it gets 10k power till the end of that battle for each of your rested set orders in your order zone. Since you can use the effects of Blue Research Lab or other research cards to rest themselves just to get off effects, you can do that just so that you can set yourself for the defensive turn. I really do just like doing it with the Research Lab since I get 5k offensively and then defensively I can get a 30k shield 
which is really nice. So I like doing it every now and then, but because the combo costs Soul Blast 2, don't want to do it too much. And I do like when this comes up. So the one copy works for me. Now getting into grade ones, we got four copies of the MVP of the deck, Examination Monster, Immigrar. So key thing about Immigrar is a monster. So that's one of the main reasons why this card is so good. What it does is if you have a grade three Glitter Vanguard with Ava in its name, you move this to Soul, search deck for Poison Ava, write it as Stand, and shuffle the deck. If you already place your Vanguard during the right phase of this turn, or if you already Persona Road, you can't Persona Ride again. So that's just to balance it out and make it fair. The huge thing about this card is its auto ability, which is drop zone. When your research card is played from hand and put into the order zone, you can energy blast three, call this to rear, and it gets 2K. So what you can do is you can move it to soul, search out, poison Ava, and then through card effects, soul blast it out, have it in your drop zone, and then the following turn, play an order, call this from the drop zone and immediately use it to put it back in the soul again, search out another Poison Ava, and just do it over and over and over again. And obviously the more copies of this you run, the more likely you are to see it. And the fact that you can recycle it from drop and it's got a really good ability to search out your Vanguard and thin out your deck. And the other big thing is that it is a monster, which we'll get into later uh, as we talk about our set orders. So speaking of monsters, we got two more copies of Wavy Loss. I like Wavy Loss just because it lets you, you know, Soul Blast cards to make it easier to get Immergrar out. Oop, this guy, to get Immergrar out. So you can Soul Blast two to draw a card. It also gets 5K if you have three or more research cards. So it's a 13K beater or booster. So I like it just for the, the Soul Blast two draw card. So I like it, it's a good card. Then we got two copies, Radiabilia. So I actually, at first I was kind of skeptical about this card, but after playing around with it, I realized this card is actually really good. Uh, what it does is you Soul Blast one and until the end of the battle, if the sum of the grades of your set orders is three or more, it gets 5K power. If the total grade is five or greater, it gets another 5K power. And if it's seven or greater, it gets another 5K power. So since we are running full play set of a grade three set order, it's really easy to get to that seven. So this is a plus 15K booster, making it a 23K booster on its own for Soul Blast one, which is a huge number. Pile that on top of the fact that you're boosting a card like Upski died, which gains a crit just to make a really, really huge number. And on the fact of it being just the Soul Blast cost, that helps us get Immigrar back into our drop zone. So tons of reasons why to run this card, super good. And obviously it is a monster making it searchable. So love that. So this is a really, really good card. Then next up, we got another monster. We got Sikondel. Sikondel is when it's placed on rear, you choose up to one non-trigger unit, put it on the bottom of your deck. If you put a grade three, you can Soul Blast three to draw a card. So you're typically gonna be using this for Poison Ava, just to put it back into your deck so that you can use Immigrar to search it out. Since it doesn't really matter to recycle Upski died since Ava can call it from the drop zone anyway. So you do Sikondel to put Ava's back in. In playtesting, I would recommend probably two copies of this. Um, I'm only running the one copy because, you know, space and also just playtesting. But you could probably drop a Wavy Less if you want so that you could run another copy of Sikondel. But I feel like, you know, the one copy works fine. But when you don't see the one copy of Sikondel, sometimes you really, really want to see it to put back your Poison Ava. So two is good just for a buffer. But for now, I'm just running the one copy. So we got more monsters. This time we're running three copies of the Monster PG. This is the perfect guard that came in the trial deck. So if you bought any of the Brandgate trial decks, you have this. The key thing here is the reason why we're using this trial deck PG is because it has monster in its name. So that's one of the only reasons why we're running it. But we'll get into that in a bit. Lastly, I am running the new Elementaria Sanctitude instead of the OG Elementaria. The only reason for this is because if you're playing against Shirinui in a tournament, and even though they're not striding on you, if it's early game and they're pushing you with damage and maybe let's say they got an OT and they're swinging you with a big number, because of the fact that they have a crest that's not the energy generator, you can use this regardless what grade your opponent is on or regardless what drive checks if your opponent has triple drive or not. So I do like this anyways, and the fact that I'm only using Elementaria against stride deck sets anyways, that's kind of the meta right now. Um, I'm playing around with this Elementaria just, just to see how it goes. But I've also seen lists that just run full four copies of Monster PGs. I think that's safe as well, but I'm, I'm rolling with Elementaria for now. Lastly, for grade ones, we're running two copies of Experiment, henceforth. Experiment used to be like a key card to make this deck function, but thanks to Immigrar, 
now this card is kind of like a back, you know, back burner in a way. It gives all your upski dies the abilities that they cannot be retired by opponent's card effects, which is nice. It also has the act ability to put this from the order zone into your soul to counter charge one and choose an upski die from your drop put in your hand. So that's also really good if you do need extra counter chart or counter blast for combined rusher or Ava zone Vanguard skill. Then that way, you know, you can also fill soul, which is nice. So it's still good to have. And then lastly, for grade ones, we run two copies of energy research. So this card is really, really good because what it does is you place it you into your order zone. Look at the top five, look for up to two monsters and you can put one into your hand and one into your drop zone. It also has the ability to rest it to choose a monster from your drop to put into the order zone, but that's more of an archite thing than an Ava thing. We're mostly doing this because we can just use this to search for Immigrar uh, or any other monster really. But the fact that we can intentionally put Immigrar into the drop zone right away, thanks to this, helps you know the deck perform faster. And the fact that your ride line searches out research cards and it's a grade one you can play this immediately and just start filtering through your deck grabbing monsters and you know grab a monster pee put in your hand grab a stick on del early grab wavy loss whatever monster that'll help your deck as you get through you know the game a little faster so this card is really 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 good uh, we're only running two copies because we're only going to use the two early game as we you know, go from grade one to grade two, and then that's pretty much it. So now that we got into the order cards and, sorry, I'm just fixing this up a bit, the main units, we're now gonna go ahead and jump right into the triggers. So the first trigger is gonna be Eldo Breath because Eldo Breath is crazy good for a Brant Kate over trigger. Its additional effect is it doubles the power and crit of all your units until the end of the turn. So obviously Upski Died gains a crit, so now you have an Upski Died with double the power and four crit crazy good and obviously as you're drive checking and searching out you know your deck and setting up your front row you're gonna have a front row to make really really huge so this is this is gonna be by far your best ot for obvious reasons going on to triggers i'm just doing eight crit but i'm doing vanilla crits just because i don't really want to buy the robot crit or the skill crit i don't think it's necessary for this deck while yes you can move it to soul to give something power or blah 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 it's so rare when it comes up i'm just sticking with the vanillas for now I am running three stands in Pyro. We definitely do not want to run draw triggers in this deck. So we're going with the fronts, the front that gives you more shield. I mean, you're always gonna have a front row to swing with and you go through this deck crazy fast. So do not run draw triggers in this deck, but fronts for sure. And lastly, just four heals. Um, you can run the, the skill heal triggers. I haven't played around with those quite yet. Or for now, I'm just running my cute little squirrel heel. It's so cute. But that is pretty much it for the deck profile. So this is the list. I guess real quick, what I'll do is I'll show you like a little tutorial of basically how the combo works as you're playing through the deck. All right, so assuming we're starting the game with a really, really good hand, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of start showing how this deck works. So you get an idea of what the Ava game plan is. So if you're going first, Immigrar is going to be your best decision to discard for the drop zone, just so you can get it out early, and then we'll go ahead and ride our grade one. Oh, don't forget to draw a card. Oh, that's really good. So the grade one Ava lets you search out any research card from your deck and put it into your hand. Our obvious target is going to be Torrential Energy Research. We add it to our hand, and then we immediately play it. So what Torrential Research lets you do, it lets you look at the top five cards of your deck and look for a monster card, or up to two monster cards, one goes to hand, one goes to drop zone. Uh, we got an Immigrar on drop and we like hands. So we're gonna add this Immigrar to our hand and shuffle. Best case scenario is you also get a PG and then that way you can put Immigrar in the drop zone and add the PG to your hand. So that's kind of the ideal thing to happen with this. But since we're going first, that's gonna be the end of our turn. Our opponent's gonna swing at us, we'll take a damage. That's pretty good. And then our turn will start. We'll go ahead, we'll get three energy and we'll draw. So Immigrar is still a really good card to have in our hand for discard fodder. If you don't have Immigrars, Combined Rusher is also really good, but we'll go ahead and just discard another Immigrar. We'll go ahead and write our next Ava. Our Grade 2 Ava has the exact same effect. It lets you look for a research card, put it into your hand. So we're gonna thin out our deck as much as possible. So we're gonna use Torrential Energy Research one more time. Play it, look at the top five. So unfortunately we only got one monster again, but it is a monster PG. So we're just gonna put that into our hand and get a free PG, which is really cool. On top of that, we did play a research card this turn. So we can energy blast three, call out our Immigrar if we want to. We can get a 10K booster. We can give, you know, Vanguard booster, rear guard booster, however we want it. But again, depending on the matchup, if you're playing against something that's gonna retire early, 
probably don't want to call this out too early, but let's say you can and you want to rush, so go for it. We do have combined rusher in hand, so we can call that. So now we have a 20k column to swing with. So let's just say we swing with our Vanguard first, no trigger. We can swing for 20, so we can early game rush for pretty much free and go from there. So now it's our opponent's turn. We'll take some damage. Maybe we're good enough to guard and intercept with combined rusher just to have it in our drop zone again. And just to be safe, let's say we'll take another damage, you know, just to make it fair if our opponent got a crit or something. So now it's gonna start our turn again. We draw, we get three energy, and we proceed to ride to our next card. Amargar calls itself from the drop zone, so let's go ahead and put that in for a ride fodder and ride into Ava. So now this is basically where if you didn't already have Research Lab in hand, you probably would have wanted to search it with your grade two turn just to have it because it's really good to thin out your deck. But since we're really good and we were able to draw into it or open our hand with it, we want to definitely have this in our hand if we can in our opening you know, turn. So we're gonna start off playing Blue Research Lab. Blue Research Lab lets us look at the top five cards of our deck to call a card. This is a really great target, so Upski Died is going to be our target there. We're gonna call it. Uh, since it was called by a card ability, it now has the ability to attack her opponent's front row. On top of that, since we now have three set orders, it gets an extra 5k power. We also now have our energy to pay so that we can call out Immergar. And then also we played a set order so we can counter blast to call out Combine Rusher. So we're building a pretty easy board for a counter blast and an order which is really nice. Uh, then on top of that, we can use Ava's act ability. So we can counter blast one. We have three cards in our set order zone. So we can look at the top three cards of our deck, pick a card from among them and put it into our hand. So typically this is a pretty, you know, depends on what you want to do. Do you want shield or do you want to draw? So maybe if we already have draw in hand, we don't, you know what? Let's just grab the wavy less and then we'll put the rest back into our deck, uh, the bottom of our deck. So we're getting more non-triggers out of our deck, which is nice. So now that we've finished all of our main phase effects for for this Ava, we're gonna go ahead and use Immigrar, move it to Soul, search our deck for Poison Ava, ride it. Poison Ava's effect is gonna go off. We grab another set order card or a research order card, give our deck a good shuffle. But unfortunately, because we did ride this turn, we don't get the Persona ride off. But you know what? We do need some boosters. So let's call that Wavy Less. Let's Soul Blast 2. Now we get the Immergrar back into our drop zone, which is nice. And let's draw a card. So now we're ready to go into the battle phase. So let's say our opponent's still at grade two. Um, so maybe doing the full swing with this might be good. Just as we can swing for 20K at their 20K you know, base, hopefully make them drop some triggers if, if possible. But if not, maybe you just wanna do the, the quick little 10 poke just to see if they'll take it or intercept or guard. They might take it. So let's say we do a 10 poke. Swing with Poison Ava, Poison Ava's effect. We just have to bind this card face up. Search our deck hand or drop for an Upski Died. We're gonna call that one. Upski Died, since it was called by an effect, gains a crit. I have three face up orders, so it gets 10K power when it swings. And now we're swinging 18 to Vanguard, this getting plus 15 essentially. Do some drive checks. Got a heal trigger, which is pretty good. Heal that out. So now we got a front row rear guard that can swing at front row. We got a front row rear guard that has a crit. So these are some pretty big numbers that we're working with here. And at the end of the turn, this Ava just rides on top rest and that's it. And then we just kind of rinse repeat over and over again. Say the next turn we use these as intercepts, take some damage. Ooh, that's a heal, that's nice. Maybe we do heal out of that. All right, we got some pretty good shield in hand. Let's drop some shield. Maybe we drop a B, maybe we don't. Let's say we do, just, just for the heck of it. And then for this turn, this is where it does get a little silly and a little fun at the same time. So we're gonna draw and we got Segundo, which is nice. So we just kind of go ahead and just proceed right into the main phase. Let's just start with playing an order card. We got our research lab, played a research lab, so now we can look at the top five. We got an Upski Died, so we can call that, or we got a Combine Rusher, either or, but you know what? I think the Upski Died's pretty good here. Now that Upski Died gains a crit, we did play an order card and we did get three energy at the start of our turn, so we'll pay the three energy to then call out an Immigrar from our drop zone, and we can pay the Counter Blast to call out Combine Rusher. So then before we use Immergrar, we're gonna use our Vanguard skill. We have four face-up set orders, so I can look at the top four cards in my deck, and I can grab a card and put it into my hand, put the rest on the bottom. And then with Immergrar, we're gonna use the one that we didn't call, the one that didn't get all that 2K power, look through our deck, find a Poison Ava, 
Poison Ava's effect lets us grab another research order. And because we did not ride this turn normally during the ride phase, we can Persona Ride and draw a card. So now our front row is getting an extra 10k. Call this down for a really, really good uh, booster there because now we're at, we're definitely at grade seven. We're actually at grade eight right now with total grades in our order zone. And now we can just start swinging. Our opponent's at grade three now, so this is 30k. You can make it 43 if you want to, but let's say for now we're doing 30k. Vanguard's gonna swing. We bind the Ava. We search our deck hand or drop for an Upski Died. We got no more Upski Dieds in deck but I'm 100% sure we got one in our drop zone, so let's just call out another Upski died. Now we got two more front row rear guards with crits on top of the fact that we Persona rode this turn, and we've been thinning out our deck for triggers, so we're gonna get some triggers, hopefully during our drive checks. And then we swing big number, swing, and then this thing, since it can boost and become a huge booster, we can soul blast our Immigrar, put it back in our drop zone, swing for a huge number, and at the end of the turn, we rewrite Ava. And our hand just continuously it gets bigger and bigger with tons of shield and ability to consistently do this over and over again. And thanks to cards like Scondell, we can just put poison Avas that are in our drop zone back into our deck to use the Immigrars over and over. So that's essentially how the deck works. It's got consistency down for sure, being able to search out the Immigrars early, pretty much guaranteed Persona Ride every single turn, and just being able to thin out your deck. I mean, just look at this. Look at how many triggers are sitting there close to the top of the deck. So we're getting pretty good with thinning out the, the deck here. And as we keep using the blue research order, we're just gonna keep pulling cards out of our deck. And also depending on how well your early game Torrential Energy Research searches are, you could filter your deck really well that, you know, that early as well. But that is basically it. That is how the deck functions. That is the gist of the modern day Ava deck. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do know that Immergrar is really, really priced right now along with Combined Rusher, just because they're really, this is a promo and this is a really old card to find and it's got very little reprinting. So keep that in mind. I'm aware this deck is a little bit pricey, but it is really fun if you've been holding on to all your brand gate pieces and you're looking to pick up some Immigrars. Hopefully the price goes down when it gets reprinted in the future. Hopefully it gets reprinted in the future. We'll have to see. But other than that, I'm having a lot of fun with this deck. This was, you know, a random pickup for me. I just decided, you know, since it was available and someone was looking to get rid of it, I wanted to pick it up and play around with it and I'm having a lot of fun. So looking forward to showing some games with this pretty soon. And that's pretty much it for me. I'm Richard and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.